Dome Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. Yo, you know, we got some people going in talking about the sport the whole time, right? Depending on what it is. This was the NBA. So we're going to do this. Check it out. Everybody got uh, a top five all-time team, right? We've been hearing it. We've been seeing it on TV lately. Everybody got a top five team. You know, I'm just going to put mine against the three guys that I heard recently, and that was Stephen A. Smith, you know, Max Kellerman, and, and your boy Allen Iverson, right? Iverson had, you know, Steph Curry on the one all the time, and basically Steph Curry could shoot. Told you, if you're getting out of his car in the parking lot, they got to defend him. Best shooter of all time, and because he shoots so well, he's underrated in another thing he does. He has great handles, and he sees the floor, right? Can finish around the rim, the rim with left or right, right? Hitting free throws at an astronomical rate. Boom. Can't foul him. Good pick. We got him. We got MJ, of course, who goes without saying. And he got Kobe on the same team as MJ. And then he got LeBron on the phone. And then he got Shaq. That's a good team. You know what I mean? Uh, Stephen A. Smith, he got Curry on the one, two. He got Michael Jordan. And he put Kevin Durant on the three, right? Then he got LeBron on the four and Shaq. Good team, right? Good team. Max Kellerman got Magic on the one, which, you know, basically 6'9 of the one. <clears throat> Best passer we've ever seen. He's, he's running that up court. He ain't the shooter, but he's going to make sure that he's going to make the right decision. Magic is magic, period. Showtime, baby. Then MJ. Then he took it old school to Bird. One of the smartest players ever to play. Shoot, you know, extraordinaire. And uh, triple-double, waiting to happen. Pass the ball, could do everything. You know, Bird, Bird is underrated sometimes. Boy, bad. Right? LeBron James on the four. Then he got Hakeem, the dream, on the five. That's the second time me and Max Kellerman done. <laughs> we got the same opinion on something. Right? So, and mine, basically, <clears throat> after seeing theirs, because I only had a problem at one position on mine. And that's why I tell you, because y'all know if I got a team, an all-time team, it starts with the dream. That's the thing, period. Right? I got Hakeem Olajuwon on the five position because, first of all, I'm getting mine. You cannot stop me on the low block, period. If I face up, if I drop step, I got a mid-range game, I got a baby hook game, uh, I, got, I got a crossover game, I got the best footwork the game has ever seen, and let me tell you, I'm getting mine. And if you follow me, I'm going to the free throw line, hitting it. And I'm stopping you, period, whoever you are. Some kind of way, I'm stopping you. I got the best hands we've ever seen. I blocked the most shots. Athletic, you bring the ball, put up, anything. If it's, if it's weak, it's getting tacked up out of there. If you try to face up and try to cross me over, you got a problem because I'm poking it away. If an inbound, if a pass coming into the big is weak, I'm poking it away. This is the best defender we've seen. I'm telling you. Hakeem, it starts with him, period. So since I got Hakeem on the low block doing his thing, then I'm stretching the flow with Dirk Nowitzki, the original stretch flow. That's what I'm going to do. Somebody better get him. Can't follow him. Don't follow him. 90% free throw. Can't follow him either. Penetrate left or right. Y'all got a problem. Somebody going to have to get him. Okay? Now, he's going to be challenged defensively. But I'm surrounding him by, with defenders. Basically, you get, if you get around him, you're dealing with Hakeem the Dream. There you go. So, are you okay? Then, <clears throat> on the three, everybody took LeBron, so I can't get him. I ain't trying to steal everybody's players. Boom, I take Pippen then. I got Pippen, okay? I'm in the three position. You know, so that means we're good to go. Whoever gets the rebound, we got, we're up out of here. I got Kobe on the two. So, Kobe and MJ can have their battle and go one on, but do whatever they're going to do because they're, gonna, they're, gonna, um, they're on the same level there. I know most people think back to Jay so much better than Kobe. But, hey, whatever. Now, Kobe, he's, he's going to get his, right? And, uh, you know, that ain't no stopping him either. So they, they basically, you know, handle their business against each other. But on the one position, I used to have magic. So I'm thinking with this team right now, I would want to press the action and make Stephon Curry, right, have to play some defense. So I'm going with Westbrook. Russell Westbrook at the one position. Bam. That's what I'm going with. First of all, because now, Steph Curry, you got to play defense because I post you up. And I'm about to triple-double with all these dudes on the floor. Anyway, 
somebody gonna have to stop the ball. Okay, so that we that we would go like that. So we once we get the ball, we outrun it, right? And if we're not, we got the original stretch flow that somebody gonna have to deal with. So that's how I would go against any of those teams, um, <clears throat> and I think I would have on a shot for sure. But that just shows you, you know how everybody's thinking that Steph Curry's moved in to a lot of people's consciousness because uh, the man is something special. Uh, you know, like I say, when you're playing in Golden State. It's a little bit easier now because you have Clay Thompson in there in the lineup and Kevin Durant. But it's the same thing the other way around. That's why I would like to have one of those guys somewhere else so we can see Steph do these crazy games like a whole season, like he would have if Kevin Durant never would have got there. They would have needed these kind of games. They don't need him that much, and he has a lot of space to do so to get that high. But imagine him being somebody who's going to get double teamed every now and then. Then you see Steph Curry hitting 23 points with 18 assists because he's, he's capable of doing that. Those things we're not seeing because it's not necessary, right? Because, you know, this floor space, we got the best of all time on every position, you know, best shooter of all time, you know, top five shooter of all time in Clay Thompson. What a quick release, and he plays defense. Woo. Then we got a guy when Brett fails. Hey, it's eight seconds left. Give it to the 6'11 guy with a crossover that nobody can't stop unless they follow him. He shoots 90% if we go live, too. <laughs> it's the best score we've, won and we've ever seen. Right? So you're giving it to all these people, and the rest of them are just decent. That's all you have to be at that point. Right? And if Draymond Green happens to be playing, ain't nobody got to worry about getting uh, no defensive switching. Because you can switch Draymond Green on anybody on the whole floor in the NBA. All right? So you have that as well. So whatever else is there, was who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? In the playoffs, it's going to be DeMarcus Cousins. Whatever. That's the point with that, you know, that, that Steph Curry thing. It would be good if he would have kind of, you know, if he would roll, go to the Knicks or something, play with Pazinga. So just, you know, and have to do something awesome every single night. And that goes for all of those guys at Golden State. Uh, it goes with Durant as well. But anyway, I think that this is, um, everybody got their opinion about it, but I think my team holds up against theirs for sure. <laughs> what you think? Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And everybody, y'all.